Hey guys, Casey Foster with Nightcode Illuminati here. Going to be doing a video on how to set up your PC for competitive play. I've uh, been getting a lot of questions and comments about this, so I'm just going to go ahead and make the video. Um, I never really knew like what to talk about when people were asking this because it's all just second nature to me, like in make, changing these few settings. But there are a lot of up and coming players and new people that just don't know about some of these things to you know just to set them up the right way. But anyway, I'm going to get started here. The first thing I do after like a fresh reformat, I install these programs, set it up, and I'm going to show you guys what I do. So the uh, first thing I do is I go to my video card control panel. I pretty much set my game up to play at the maximum FPS and performance. So I turn off all these quality things, ambient occlusion, anastropic filtering is on and off, gamma correction off, anti-aliasing mode off, um, performance uh, prefer maximum performance, you know, keep in mind your guys' video drivers may be a little different than mine if you guys have a newer video card or an ATI card, you know, I just, this is just my personal preference, but it's just things that I've done that I've noticed a difference in over the years that have helped me um, in my competitive play. Uh, so turn off texture filtering, put it on high performance, I force anastropic filtering off, and then I come to my monitor settings and I go to advanced settings, monitor, and I put it onto 120 hertz. I've got 120 hertz LCD, you may not. So I would suggest whatever the highest amount of hertz that you can get at whatever resolution is what you should use. Um, even if it's a smaller resolution, like eight by six or something, you know, I suggest do it. As for your desktop, it doesn't really matter, but when you're playing Counter-Strike, you want to be using the highest amount of hertz as it's going to make your game the smoothest, you're going to have the, you're going to be able to see people before they see you. You know, there's tons of advantages to it. So just go ahead and set it to that, and just trust me. Um, then the next thing I do is I come to my mouse on my control panel, and I turn off enhanced pointer precision. That's mouse Excel. Turn that off. But since I'm on Windows 7, you can see uh, a lot of people don't know is that there's a slight amount of mouse Excel. So I actually just found out about this recently, so I downloaded this, guy, this guy's file called Mark C Windows 7 Mouse Fix. I'll be putting the link to the file in the description of this video. Uh, but anyway, what you do is you just grab the file, and you see a bunch of files in here like, wow, I, I don't know what to do. But it's actually really simple. See, there's four files right here. And what you do is you kind of just match it up to what, your, what you have your computer set to. So you go to um, right-click your desktop, go to personalize, then display, and then you see smaller, medium, 150%. And it's all based on these percentages. See, there's a 100% there's a file here, 125, a 150, and even a 200 if you have a different resolution. Um, I mean text size, sorry. So then you'll, I have it on 100, so then you see the 100 file, you just double click it to run it. It's a reg registry edit file, it's completely legit, legit. And then you just restart your computer and you're ready to go. Um, and then the next thing I do is I go to my Counter-Strike and I set my launch options. So my game knows which way to launch the game. Um, don't use these two commands I'm typing in now as this is gonna launch the game in windowed mode so it doesn't mess up the video, but um, frequency 120 is my hertz that I display the game at. Console is to make it so the console opens when I Counter-Strike opens so I can paste in a server IP to join like a scrim or match or something. Um, this is my resolution, 10, uh, 1024 by 768. This is the Novid command, which makes Counter-Strike not display that ad that loads up at the beginning of the game. Um, and then these are, like I said, commands to make the game launch in windowed mode so it won't mess up the video. Um, before I do that, I go to netcodesource.com and I download the GUI, which has all of the pro players' configs in it. Um, then I just go here, grab the C-Strike folder, throw it into my C-Strike folder. If you already have a C-Strike folder in there, just name it C-Strike2 and throw the netcode GUI in there and you're ready to launch your game. And I'm gonna launch it here. As you, like I said, it's launching in the windowed mode, uh, just so it doesn't mess up the, the video, but it definitely worked. Put the netcode GUI in here, all the options, um, you know, all my video settings are set right in the video card, I mean in the config that is in there. You can click this button right here, it connects you to the deathmatch, and um, yeah, so source is pretty much set up right. That's pretty much about it. Um, like I said, my mouse is always on the same DPI, I never change it. I play with a Zowie EC1 on 400 DPI or whatever the red setting is. I'm actually not sure what the DPI is. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, the GUI has all the configs in it. And um, if you guys like this sweet desktop background, you can download it here. 
Um, some of the other pro player configs are here as well. And um, some more on the netcodesource.com slash forums, or netcodeilluminati.com slash forums uh, website. So that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know in the comments or just shoot us a PM on, um, on YouTube. Thanks, guys.